Good afternoon, everyone. In 2007, I was in Malaysia. I was going back to my country, and I was really happy. This, hap uh, this happiness didn't continue for a long time, especially when I heard that my flight had been delayed had been delayed, so <clears throat> it had been delayed for, uh, for 19 hours, so this part is very important. This part, uh, without this part, you and I cannot go back to our country, which is Indian. So today I will talk about engines. I will represent to you engines in the past, nowadays, and future. Let's begin with the background of aviation and take a look who, who invented the, the idea and who developed. First of all, who invented the idea? Um, we know that Wright brothers uh, who, uh, like you, uh, who invented the idea, but it's wrong because the first one who invented the idea was Abbas bin Firnas. Abbas bin Firnas was born in uh, 800 centuries, and especially in 810. And he was born in Andalus, which is uh, Spain today. He, he was a scientist. He was a scientist in uh, astronomy. He was a scientist in uh, math and physics. He also, uh, his first time flew, uh, he broke his, ri his ribs. So, but he didn't give up uh, because after 20 years, uh, when he was 65 years old, he tried again and uh, he succeeded. He known uh, for an early attempt at aviation, and his, uh, his first time he flew uh, he flew with the feathering. Second, who developed the idea? Uh, Wright brothers uh, they developed the idea, and the uh, first time they flew with the with the power engines, and that one is uh, was in 1903. And they flew for, uh, for uh, 12 seconds, it's almost uh, 120 feet. Uh, this according to uh, Arabs, uh, 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 fact of Arabs to net. Now uh, we've known a little bit about uh, who invent and who, uh, who uh, develop the aviation or the fly, so let's move on to talk about nowadays. Nowadays, engines have been developed uh, way better than before. Uh, therefore, uh, we consider the aviation or the airplane is the number one uh, transportation in the sky. Uh, the most, let's uh, look for the, the common or the most important engines. So we have types, uses, and benefits. So let's talk about the types. We have two types of engines. We have the propeller one and we have the jet engine. The propeller one uh, divided into two. So we have uh, the propeller and this one, the engine, this one. So the propeller, uh, we have the trainer engine or the trainer airplane. And this one, if you want to be uh, a pilot, uh, first of all, uh, you, will, uh, you will try the simulator machine. Uh, before you get the license, so after that you will uh, you will go with this trainer. Second one, the military. We have this huge or a big uh, propeller uh, for engines, and these two are not pop uh, popular anymore. The second one, jet engines. We have three types of jet engines. Uh, we have the turbofan and turbo jets, and we have the rocket. And uh, these three, uh, three types, uh, it's uh, powerful. The second one, uh, which is uses. We have the commercial one, and we have three types of uh, commercial airplane. Uh, the most common one, we have the Boeing, and we have the Airbus, and we have the Concorde. According to the, mainly, uh, to the daily mail, the uh, code UK, uh, the, the Concorde uh, uh, was the first flu in 19 or 1976, and uh, uh, by 2000 uh, there were a battle, um, a battle accident, which is uh, destroying uh, almost uh, 150 uh, passengers were died. So this one, uh, 
this one uh, is between uh, this Concord was between uh, New York, Washington, UK, and French, and it took from uh, from UK to New York three and a half hours, uh, while the other airplane took eight to nine hours. Now the military one. We have two types. We have the helicopter and we have the fighters. And we have the most common one uh, for the helicopter, which is Apache. Uh, and for the fighters, is uh, the common one is F-16 uh, or 22. Now the transportation. We can also use uh, engines for transportation, uh, such as uh, we have uh, FedEx, uh, we have cargo and sorry, DHL and uh, UPS. And uh, we can use it also for catering uh, that we need it uh, in, the, in the airport. Now the benefits of the, of the technology these days for the engines. We cannot only use uh, engines for transportation for passengers, uh, for passengers. But we can, we can also use it for if you have a big farm and uh, there is a problem how you can feed the crops. So we have uh, this uh, feeding crops, this kind of, uh, of airplane that is good for the farmer people. And also it's a uh, second benefit which is very fast. As you can see here, it's go through the... Sorry. It's too fast. <laughs> it can go um, through the sound of the, of the wall, as you can see here, and it goes uh, 1,152 kilometer per, uh, per uh, hour. This is the other one. Now, uh, can we use the engines for entertainment without, uh, for example, can we fly without engines as a bus pimpernas, uh, uh, like his dream? Yes, we can nowadays. We have the float planes. Uh, these float planes, we use it uh, usually in the island because in the island, uh, the level of the sea is not stable. So it's, uh, it's hard for a pilot to, to land. And the second one, the wingsuit. This wingsuit uh, was the first uh, idea for a bus uh, when he flew. He flew uh, from uh, uh, in Cordoba without, uh, without engines. It's, it's like a parachute. Now, the issues of uh, technology. Uh, there were uh, one issue according to the airsafe.com. The MD-80, uh, it has problem with the engines. So this uh, engine, is, uh, the problem is with the high temperature. So they, they stopped uh, this uh, kind of airplane. Now, in the future. Uh, in the future, we have many possible things uh, according to the, the standard uh, UK. So we can use, uh, we can use the, the, the cow's dung or the cow's uh, poo uh, instead of the kerosene, which is safe, uh, safe the environment. The second choice, we can use the Airbus, uh, will use the passenger's body heat instead of kerosene, which is uh, in the future more possible. Now, in conclusion, I've talked about the, the engines. Uh, I explained to you uh, three main points in the past, uh, nowadays, and in the future. And we, uh, we, uh, we knew now uh, who invented and developed the idea of the flood. And uh, we knew now the benefits and uh, what's the problem. Uh, and. Uh, so now uh, there is no limitation in uh, in airplane or in engines to prevent the engines damage. Uh, pilots uh, must uh, pre-check uh, before before he flight uh, to prevent the engines damage. Uh, 